Welcome back everyone. Hope your Tuesday is going good. As I said in yesterday's video, we are going to open up six packs, six more packs of the 2017 Donruss. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Should have 12 packs left. But first we have a TTM. This is from a longtime Bush Series driver. Had some uh, starts in the Winston West Series way back in the late 80s, oh, early 80s through, you know, mid to late 80s. Had a top 10 run in the Cup Series race at Riverside, I believe about 1981 or 82. And did dabble in Cup, uh, driving for just random teams here and there as a journeyman driver. Didn't have much success in the Bush Series, handful of top fives, top tens, couple pulls. But we did have this driver's brother the other day on a TTM, so this is none other than Mr. Jim Bound. So this is 1994 Max there, Jim Bound driving family-owned number 98 Lux Foods car. There you see Rose Auto Wrecking, that was one of his longtime sponsors. Here's another one, this was when he was driving, again, the Lux Foods car, you can see the autograph right there. And the third one, it's a little difficult to see, but it is right there on his shoulder. Wish he would have signed maybe down here. That would have been nice. This also from the 19 or the 19. This is 1993 tracks. Trying to get that out, but this is also the number 98 family-owned uh, Bound Racing Chevrolets. Usually did have some good runs in this car, which in 1994. Of course, these pictures represent 93, 1994 when Jim's brother Chuck moved up to the Cup Series. Jim got to take over the 63 ride for a year. I think maybe one year, maybe two years. Did moderately well, didn't have a lot of success, but ended up uh, jumping around to a couple other teams. Uh, not sure what he's doing now, but I know that he had a respectable career. Wasn't considered like a backmark or anything, just didn't have the opportunities that others had before and after him. So thank you to Mr. Jim Bound. Really do appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and start with opening six packs of these 1990, or 1994, I'm still thinking 94, 2017 Donruss. Boy, it'd been nice if we had Donruss race cards in 1994. I may never have gotten into all the other sports, but be that as it may. Start off with Elliot Sadler driving for Junior Motorsports. This would have been the number one car. Of course, Michael Annette drives the number one car now. But that was the five car. At one time, it was the five. Well, Junior's teams have changed numbers so much, I don't remember what team the one car was and is and etc., etc. There's a 15, a Clint Boyer. Of course, we talked about that with the H. Scott Motorsports team. Tony Stewart. Trevor Bain during his days at Roush Racing. Matt Crafton, ooh, ooh, we have a Phenoms, Ty Dillon, insert, of course he's driving for, I believe this is RCR in the, in the Cup Series, yeah, it looks like it has all the RCR logos, but it may have been that uh, uh, Joe Falk, Richard Childress uh, pairing that they had in the 33 car, I really don't remember that, who, who, I think it was Joe Falk, there we have Matt Kenseth, Regan Smith, Ben Kennedy, and this one is Brian Scott. Of course, Brian is retired from the Cup Series. As this Ben is retired from racing to work in NASCAR, Brian has returned to the family business. I want to say that would either be Shore Lodge or Albertsons, one or the other, because I know that he had family in one of those. Don't see any thick cards in this one. I'm going to start off with Brad Keselowski. Danica Patrick is next. Joey Logano, Kyle Busch. Those two cards always seem to be back-to-back. -back. Tyler Reddick, Garrett Smithley, rated rookie. I don't think I've pulled this card yet. That card does not look familiar at all to me, so that's awesome that I've pulled that one. Casey Kane, Ryan Reed, Kevin Harvick, and Chris Buescher. I say, I don't recall pulling that Elliot Sadler, I'm sorry, that uh, Garrett Smithley card. I may have at some point, and just uh, 
and all these thousands of cards that I got laying around here just don't remember seeing it. Some no thick cards in this one. Again, I'm used to the Donruss packs having seven or eight cards and not ten, so every pack feels thicker. Regan Smith, during his uh, year with Tommy Baldwin Racing, he had a third place finish at Pocono that year. Of course, that was the race Chris Busher won. They stayed out on a fuel strategy. The rains came, then the fog came, then the rain, and then the fog, and then they had to call it. Matty D, who's had a couple of second place finishes in his career. Casey Mears, who's a former winner of the Coke 600. Two-time champion Kyle Busch. Three-time Daytona 500 winner Denny Hamlin. We have a Jeff Burton. This is going to be an... Is this going to be a throwback? An 84 throwback, maybe? Oh, it's a name variation. The Mayor. I believe we pulled this one recently. And that, that feels a little odd there. It's uh, uh, just where the... And it doesn't have it on this card. But there you see Chase Elliott, last year's champion. Two-time Xfinity Series or then Bush Series champion. Dale Jr., 98 and 99 for that. Casey Kane, former former Brickyard 400 winner back in 20, 2017 that he won, I believe so. And Greg Biffle, who is the 2000 Truck Series champion. And I believe the 2002 Bush Series champion, if memory serves me correct. So up next, Chase Elliott, back when he was driving the 24 car. Of course, he did replace Jeff Gordon in that ride. There you have Paul Menard, retired a couple of years ago in the 2019 season. Martin Truex Jr., 2017 champion, 2004 champion, Kurt Busch. See an 84 throwback coming up here. There's Brad Kay, the 2012 champion. Dale Earnhardt Jr., not sure if I've picked up this throwback or not. Nice looking card. Of course, we mentioned him a few years, no, a few packs ago with his two Bush Series titles. There's Dave and Reagan, has two Cup Series wins, driving for that abomination of a team known as BK Motorsports at that time. Uh, Alex Bowman, who won Sunday's race. Michael Annette and Carl Edwards, who has hinted at maybe a one-race comeback in the future. Uh, speculation has it be at a road course. Don't know if and when we'll see Edwards back. Don't see any particularly crazy looking cards in this. We'll go back to an Elliott Sadler. So this is just going to be a repeat of our first pack here. So you have Boyer, Stewart, Bain. So it's just kind of sad that uh, we've got a DW84 throwback. So we have a Mountain Dew, so it's either 81 or 82. Really not familiar enough with his 81 and 82 uniforms. My guess would probably be 81. Could be wrong. But just the fact that there's not a lot of contingency sponsors. So it's probably 81. There's Johnny Sauter, former Truck Series champion. Casey Kane. Excuse me, Ryan Reed. And Kevin Harvick, 2014 Cup Series champion. Final pack of the day. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. So we start with Joey Logano, Chris Buescher, Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, who had a really, really good run on Sunday. I believe he came home fifth position. Kevin Harvick, gold parallel numbered, 342 out of 499. Very nice. Then we have a Race Kings base set short print of Tony Stewart. Another Casey Kane. Greg Biffle. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And we end the day with Joey Logano. So a lot of nice cards there. Only three insert or four insert cards here. Well, that's not even an insert. That's a base set that's short printed. So we did get the numbered Kevin Harvick, 342 out of 499. Jeff Burton name variation, The Mare. And Ty Dillon Phenoms. So not a lot to crow about, but definitely not uh, some horrible cards there. Get this Harvick sleeved up. I like to sleeve all my numbered cards up. Kind of helps me pick them out too when I look for them because... 
If I know it's a numbered card, it's going to have a sleeve around it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you enjoyed the TTM. So we will see you tomorrow. Not sure what I got on tap for tomorrow, but uh, you always know we have something for you guys. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you tomorrow.